Uh, hello peeps, it's uh, Tuesday, a uh, gorgeous day today, it's um, high teens, uh, I've had this couple, couple of days now and uh, growth is kicking in, um, just finished rolling the square, uh, weight is up to about uh, just over half of uh, maximum weight which I think on uh, on that is about uh, a ton and a half uh, probably up to about oh maybe 800 kilo 900 kilo as well the, uh, the, the rollers themselves have not been held so they'll add quite a bit of weight to what they've done but, uh, it's, it's coming on nicely stress of uh, pre-season work um, one of you because uh, it's not rained but we are getting some quite big dews in the morning um, so but, uh, the rest of the ground yep it's uh, it's getting there it's getting there it's uh, oh, I think yes it's only about three weeks before the start of the season and probably four weeks I think before our first home game. Um, so there's, uh, there's lots of uh, activity here today. Uh, the contractor in doing some work around the bike. Um, you can hear the uh, hammer in there but there's our uh, Coaches and the uh, chair, Mr. Kevin, is uh, just reinforcing the roof on his uh, his little uh, coaching hut there. Um, I think he's already started with some coaching, but uh, there we go. So he's cracking on with that. But uh, busy, busy at the moment. Going to take a day off tomorrow, though. Uh, I'm going to go and have uh, uh, around a golf next door. Um, just to give it a break and uh, just to let the uh, square breathe. I'm trying not to hammer it every day. Um, one pass, which for me is up and down the same line. Um, that's all I do in a session, work my way across the square. Um, I don't, I'm not sitting on there for uh, two or three hours. I'm not doing that, not hammering it. Uh, gently increasing the weight and uh, and we'll see how it performs this summer that's always the uh, the acid test isn't it right I'm gonna go and put the jolly green giant away see you soon uh, good afternoon it's uh, Friday the 25th of March and it's uh, it's like a summer's day I must have got uh, 19 or 20 degrees absolutely gorgeous and uh, we've been really busy this week um, with the the weather's been so good that we've been able to get lots of jobs done um, and uh, sort of get ahead of where we need to be which is uh, I, uh, where I prefer to be so uh, I'll just show you what uh, what we've been up to recently all right first of all uh, the square um, it's uh, it's had a feed and uh, the uh, the weight's getting up in the roller uh, probably uh, we're probably about two two thirds maybe three quarters up there and it really is firming up nicely he's actually getting to the stage where I'm thinking about a little bit of water um, just to uh, to wash the feed in um, outfield is uh, it's coming on nicely. There's a, a few rabbit scrapes that uh, I need to address. Um, in fact, there's, like, there's one there. Um, but to go to, uh, I've not lowered the cup by very much. Um, just uh, I, I want it to be growing, uh, and it certainly is, um, and uh, encourage those roots. I'm not uh, not going scalping it off. Um, what else have we got? We've got 
um, a bunch of students here. Um, these are on like a pre, it's like a military prep course. They're, um, they all intend going in uh, one of the armed services fairly soon. They're doing a, a course through uh, the local college. Um, and they're working on fitness and obviously military type skills. Um, they're camping uh, just the other side of those trees because they're assisting um, Curly's athletes to a local sort of sports organiser. Um, they've got a, a run around the grounds of Normanby Hall. Uh, it's an eventing course, a horse eventing course. There's all jumps and things, and they're running over those. Uh, some years they've had horrendous weather. Uh, it's looking like they're going to be watching out for heat stroke this year. Uh, but the students are up helping with that, so they're going to be uh, camping for a couple of nights up here. Absolutely no worries about them. The guy in charge of them is ex-paratroopers. I don't think he's ever taken any shit off anybody in his life. And he ain't going to start with a bunch of college kids. So um, I, I'm perfectly happy to have them up. And, uh, uh, you know, regardless of your thoughts about armies or soldiers, whatever, we ask them to do things that are not easy and I wish them the best they should if, if we ever have to deploy they should be the best trained best equipped that the country can provide and if you think that's controversial then I really don't want to know you I'm not particularly pro-war but if you're gonna do it you do it right you look after your people Oh, a bit of controversy there. Right, um, lots of work going on around the pavilion, uh, around the back as well, um, which I uh, can't show you yet. Can't show you yet because uh, it is still ongoing. Uh, but we will, uh, we will be shooting a bit of video and some pictures. But there's uh, development there. Um, We've got uh, some large picnic benches, which uh, if I just zoom in, as uh, Sam who's uh, putting them all together. Uh, so it'll be uh, nice outdoor seating. Um, the coaching areas had a bit of a revamp, um, and they were not to stop the leaking roof. Well, we have stopped it now, and. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, you know, if this was the middle of the summer, I would be more than happy about uh, conditions for play today. Uh, poor lad's carrying about uh, a 20 litre, 25 litre container of water. Uh, 50, 50 odd pound weight there. That's, that's pretty good going. <laughs> and I wonder he's taking a rest. Catch you later. And good afternoon, peeps. Um, what can I say? Been a shit few days. My uh, good lady's uh, struck down with COVID, and uh, I've got a chest infection and sore throat, as you can probably hear. Um, I'm testing negative. Of that I'm positive but I'm testing daily um, unfortunately my uh, good lady's testing positive all the time so um, yeah I suppose one advantage is that we're not officially supposed to have to self-isolate now but that will depend on whether I actually come up I'm feeling pretty chite at the moment um, so, oh, sorry, I started spraying today because I love the smell of ferrous sulphite in the morning. I started spraying for uh, moss. Um, I've done about half the grounds. Um, takes about 
seven tanks to do the, the plane surface. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna do the rest tomorrow. Um, health and weather permitting. Forecast's a bit dodgy for the next few days and it? it's turning cold. But I suppose uh, you, know, you get that little kickback from winter, don't you? Just say, I've not gone yet. Not gone yet. But then he, he does it, and you know it's never going to be as cold again until uh, the next time it is actually winter. So if I uh, swap the camera around. Yeah, directly into the sun, but there we go. Um, half the ground sprayed, which is sort of that half and then this half to do um, hopefully tomorrow um, notified everybody in the club that uh, please stay off the outfield until I send you another message I don't want people coming up and doing fielding drills and suddenly finding the ruined I don't know, 100 quids worth of uh, whites or something because they, they see you get a big brown stain and, and that's it, doesn't, uh, doesn't disappear. I can smell it, really can smell it. Gentle wind coming from that direction that we're looking in now. Uh, right, that does it because. I feel exhausted. Catch you soon. Uh, hello, we're now on Tuesday the 29th of March. And day two of outfield spraying um, with uh, some uh, soluble uh, ferrous sulfate uh, to uh, help deal with the moss. I'll uh, show you where we've got to. Right. Well, this is the half that I did yesterday. <coughs> Excuse me, still poorly. <coughs> um, and obviously you, you can already see um, where it, it's been, whether it's starting to take effect. Um, so, fairly quick acting. I put that on at about uh, uh, 400. Uh, oh, see, I'm trying to do it in there. Um, 95 litre tank, um, and it's had uh, about uh, 4.8 kilos per tank. Um, so pretty strong, but not at the maximum. But uh, yeah, you see, this was done yesterday, so it's almost uh, almost exactly 24 hours. And uh, just moved to here. That's in line with the edge of the uh, the square, and that's been done today. So you know, one, two, huge, uh, huge change in appearance uh, in uh, in 24 hours um, so uh, but that's uh, it's a long job I've not got the biggest spray in the world uh, you just have to uh, put your head down and uh, you know listen to some, uh, some music or some podcast or something and uh, and just crack on with it so uh, I've asked people to keep off for 24 hours and uh, and it's uh, we'll give it a week, ten days, maybe twelve, depending, and uh, get the uh, springtime harrow out and uh, pull out any any crap that needs doing. Um, other than that, oh, it's very nearly April, and that's it. We, we'll be into the cricket season. Um, exciting always slightly scary will everything be ready on time it always has been but you still uh, 
you still worry about it like don't want to anything going wrong i know we've got a spell of um let's say colder weather it's not exactly going to be winter i don't think but uh hope it doesn't last too long uh don't mind a bit of water going on the surface it's been dry for quite a while now um so a little bit of rain fine um boys have put the uh sheets over the uh the frames so the uh, roll-ons are ready to roll and uh, i'll probably see you again maybe just before the uh i'll aim to put another video out just before the start of uh, the season maybe just before our uh, our first home game so uh until then keep at it <laughs>